for MacSources.com, I'm Nick, and today we enable trim support for your third-party SSD. Go to the Apple menu at the top left, then About This Mac. You'll want to click on More Information tab, right here. Now, System Report tab under the About This Mac information. Now you'll be presented with a list of information about your device. Let's scroll back up to Serial ATA, which is your hard drive. And now we can find Trim Support, located midway down this menu. Let me see if I can select it here for you. There we go. Trim Support is not enabled on my device. Now that we know that Trim is not on, there are two ways to enable it. In this video, I'll show you both. Let's open up Terminal. In Terminal, what we're going to do is insert a few lines of code. Depending on if your new SSD supports Trim, and the version of Mac OS X you're using, I've seen these Terminal commands not work. One thing to remember, you must restart your machine once you've finished entering the Terminal commands. Below the video, I'll have the commands needed to run in Terminal. Now that the commands have been entered, I need to restart. Once back to your desktop, you're going to need to go to the Apple logo at the top, About This Mac, and More Info. From there, System Report, and we can go back to Serial ATA and find Trim Support once again to see it is now enabled. Now let me show you how I actually enabled Trim. Below, I'll have a link to an application you'll need to download called Trim Enabler. Once downloaded, you'll install this application, open it up, and run it. There is a one button process to click from off to on. Make sure under the middle menu called Smart, uh, you'll want to select your drive. I have two drives in my MacBook Pro, so let me select the SSD and go back over to Trim. You'll see the patch is active, Trim is active, and everything looks super. For MacSources.com, I'm Nick, and this was how to enable Trim on a third-party SSD.